What's up people? We are in the backyard once again, ready to start another project. Today we're gonna be installing the fence. Wait, another project in your yard? Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and start doing this fence today. All we're gonna do is uh, starting out is digging the fence holes, the post holes, putting in the post, and then putting up the two by fours going across. So the first section of fence we're gonna work on is gonna start right there at the cabana and it's gonna run straight along here and then attach right there to the side of the shed. And then on the other side of the shed over here, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, it's gonna come out from the corner right here. It's gonna go over about 10 feet and then back seven feet to the edge of the house. So we got eight, eight of these uh, four by four by eight posts to put in. We're gonna dig them about two feet deep. Oh, we're gonna cement them in and uh, that'll probably be all we'll be able to do for now until the cement dries. Then we'll throw up the two by fours and uh, try to brace everything up. You're gonna vomit them? Huh? You said you're gonna throw up the two by fours. I don't know, I kind of feel like throwing up. That was a lot of stuff to have to carry, so. Take a break, little bubba? No, <laughs> nobody takes breaks around this property. All right, people, so we're gonna start on this side first. You can see over here, there's already a hole that I dug the other day. Unfortunately, it rained, so I gotta drain the water out of it, but it's 22, two, 22 feet long. Can't even talk, people. But uh, we're gonna split the difference, so every seven and a half feet, we're gonna put in a, one of these four by fours, and yeah, hopefully it'll be easy to dig since it was raining a lot this week, so we'll see. Alright, so this one's right at, I measure from that way, so this is at the 15 foot mark, and then at 7.5 feet, and then back over there. So I just got to make sure that I'm trying to line everything up. Hopefully this lines up right. I think it will. I can always dig around a little bit. But look at this, how easy it is. It's normally not this easy to dig, but that's why I wanted to do all these projects right now, because take advantage of the wet soil usually it's like a you would need a pickaxe to get into yeah. the ground during the summer it gets super dry out here how deep two feet I'm gonna dig about two feet because the poster eight foot so they'll stick up six feet who taught you math uh, miss Quackenbush congratulations on your early retirement by the way or not early retirement you had 30 years you know who that is, Matt? Miss Quackenbush? Yes, Jared. But that's not her name anymore. Yeah, I know. That's what I know her as. You can tell that, like, right here, it's all kind of like that sandy clay. I don't have any post holes, post hole diggers. I thought you did. No. I was going to buy some, but as easy as it is to dig right now, I just figured I'd save about 40 bucks and just dig it with this shovel. You're such a hard worker, Jared. I know. Well, somebody's got to make up for Jason not working. Burn. Whew. Hot today. But if just finished digging all the holes. Next thing we got to do is go get the cement. Thanks to At Home and Tom Miranda for letting us use our truck and trailer. You guys are a lifesaver. I have all the cement out there in the back of the truck. And uh, we're going to come in, straighten up these posts. Cement them in, add some water from our new fountain over here, or the new faucet, you know what I mean. But uh, make sure everything's straight, everything's level, and then we'll uh, let it dry, go back with the two by fours, and then we'll be done for now. I'm not gonna get all the little uh, pickets yet. I'm gonna wait for the shed to start getting a little bit more done, or I may end up putting them to about right here and leave a little section over here so we can go in and out to work on the shed. But yeah, I'm out of breath, I'm tired. Isn't there gonna be a gate here? No, well, I decided against that. If we want to get to the garden, we can go out the front door, off the side of the patio, or just walk around the cabana. Which is what I told him originally. I would put a gate, but I don't feel like doing that, so it is what it is. I'm just glad to have a privacy fence. So, each of these poles is going to get a 60-pound bag of cement. We've already put a little bit of water in there. We're going to throw some cement in. Matt's going to mix it up. We'll keep doing it water cement, water cement, until it fills up. And then we'll make sure everything's level with the, uh, the level here. Oh, this bag's already ripped open, so it's going to be a... An adventure. Damn, half this uh that one got left out green or something. Look at this. 
Thanks, thanks a lot, Home Depot. Jack your prices up and jack up your customers. It's not really Home Depot. It's I know. Bo Jiden. Well, I gotta take blame too because I should have looked. Here, I'll do this if you want to turn the water on and get a little more water in here. From the new roof faucet. Just a little bit of water. I'm probably going to add in a, a little extra cement on this one since a quarter of the bag was already messed up. So now we're going to make sure everything's level. Keep push that way towards the uh, get up there. Push to the road. Keep a little more. All right. Back towards the garden. A little more. More. Let it go. Got to go back. I know, but it's right there in the middle. Right there in the middle. Right there in the middle. That's good. Surprise. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. So we're going to let that one uh, go ahead and set up. We'll work our way down. Once the cement settles a little bit more, we'll start adding in all the two by fours across it. And then uh, we're going to measure from the ground up to see exactly how tall these are and make sure they're all the same length. And I'll cut them accordingly. So repeat the process three more times and we'll have all these posts in. All right, people, it's the next day. We're getting things done. I woke up really early, went to Home Depot. I picked up a bunch of lumber, some uh, fence panels and stuff, and I've actually put the two by fours across already. Uh, Matt's getting up right now. So he'll come out here in a little bit once he gets his coffee and everything. But I'm gonna start putting up these fence panels. Uh, made sure everything was nice and level. I just gotta go back and cut the tops off of all these uh, posts here to make sure everything's nice and even. But So it's going slow, but I'm hoping to get this done by the end of today. I should be able to get all these uh, fence pickets up, hopefully before Matt even comes out here and then he'll help me on the other side, but I'm going to go ahead and quit talking and I'm going to get to work, so let's do this.
I'm out here and things start getting done. Really pro. That's what you're gonna go with? It's the truth. When I came out here, he had that side done. Surprisingly. And then uh, I came out here and we were just getting busy. Now it's time to put up the planks and uh, no more people driving by and honking. So as you can tell, it's pretty much done. Privacy. We were lacking probably like four boards, five boards, but I'm happy. Just gotta put in a million screws here now. Two you just miscalculated a bit, right? Well, I put them in my car and I fit 80 of these boards in my car in one trip and I needed, well, I think. Show the people from the outside what it looks like. I needed a, I think I kind of, then I needed 90, but I don't think I need to now. I think I probably need about another four boards or so, but this is what it looks like now. Very, very happy. A little by little, it's getting a little better. And y'all you know me, I love my privacy. So I think this is going to help out quite a bit. Of course, that's still a skeleton, but Definitely, uh, once that's done, there ain't no way anyone can see back here. Jared's garden. Everything is nice and green. <laughs> Those green onions are uh, a little past their uh, due to get used. But I'm waiting for these, the actual onions with the bulbs underground. I think he said they're yellow onions or white onions. I don't know, but see, they're already going to bloom. These guys have been uh, redoing the road here, so... 
hopefully, you know, it's good and better than the other county road that uh, Jared decided to go mud in. All right, people, we are done for today. We came up four boards short. I'll go back into town later on and pick those up, but what do you think about finally having privacy back here? It's pretty nice, and uh, I think we're gonna have a little surprise somewhere in this section right here. Coming soon. It's summertime. Yeah. Eh, we were actually thinking about getting a pool, so. Well, there <laughs> you go. Yeah, so one of those above ground pools, probably a 16 foot wide one. Uh, maybe putting it over here. It fit right in that little area right there. Oh yeah? We measured it out. But yeah, it's been a long day. We are done. I'll, like I said, I'll finish up that gap over there. Uh, after the meetup, Jason will be coming back down and we're gonna finish off the shoot dang shed, but I think I'm gonna relax the rest of this weekend. What about you? You're gonna relax? Yeah, I'm tired, but. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.